the hundred and fiftieth episode special. The internet's about to stop when this gets released. I see you've wore your best the best attire for it as well. Mm-hmm. I don't really ever see you with fake shades. Uh, my skin's really bad at the minute, so. So you need it's fake eye, shades. My eyes are all sore. And Is it another episode like the world famous Christmas tree episode? Uh, not as bad, but <clears throat> I think it's. I don't know if it's a a byproduct of thinking I'm about you, to be filmed. Have you been stressing out about this? Since <laughs> <laughs> you came in high. I'm about to get filmed. Uh, uh, I think my looking <laughs> uh, today I did wake up and my eczema was pretty bad. And about my face. Just in time for filming a music video tomorrow as well. Yeah, exactly. That's how you like to do it. <laughs> so you come up from London, you're just in from the airport, Kev? I feel like Calvin Harris or something, straight off the jet, <laughs> straight up to the G4 Claim studio for some podding. How, uh, how was it? <clears throat> Travelling with a toddler as just a, as a father. Like, so this is the, this is where we get the, the cut for the, yeah, the parenting. Exactly. When you, uh, when you get the, 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 I feel like I should be the guy fucking rocking up to the, the airport, big case, toddler, pram, bag full of nappies and all that, and the treats and <laughs> like get everything good to go. Also, we get fucking certs at security. Has that happened before? With, Never. With your child? They fucking took the wee man's shoes it's, off it's, and we're the shoes. <laughs> fucking really? <laughs> it's a good. It's a good decoy though. Um, what would you be bringing up on the flight from L- London? To bars. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was fine. It was totally cool until we got to. I just got a black cat straight to the airport because try to get them down subway and stuff got, with the case and pram madness. Nightmare. Um, <laughs> so black cat to the airport straight in. We man's cool through security. Boom, searched. It must be the old, the old can son name flagged. <laughs> <laughs> and then, exactly, me and you, pal. And uh, he was fine until that riled him up. Managed to get him back again. There's this amazing playpen bit at right, Heathrow. Right, okay. It's like a jungle gym. Guy's like, and it's for like three to nine. 18 months old, no fucks given straight. It's in the pram and it's <laughs> <laughs> that. It was great. And the ball pit. Um, <laughs> and then the woman said to me, so it was, I, I bought like, I got a seat that, can I book my seats last so I could find out there was a space left? Ah, okay. Right, right, right. So you need to so sit in your lap for the full thing. And then he has to sit in your lap the full and the full cause he's under eighteen months. Another wee seat belt that goes around them. Mm-hmm. And she loved it. Seem, it seems dangerous. <laughs> I'm sure it's not dangerous. I'm sure they've thought out that Well man, if it's going down, it's you're all going down. Um I just think you're on like bumping or whatever. Sometimes that'd be good though, the turbulence rocks on my sleep. Uh, all right, okay. But the woman came up the airway station and, and spoke to this random woman was like, and how old's the baby? And she's like, that's not my child. And then she's like, dad's bringing it up. As if, like, fathers don't do that shit. Oh, what would they, would they and impress? she was so impressed. And then they kept coming up going, daddy's doing great. <laughs> playing playing get delayed in the tarmac. And the wee man filled his brakes. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Straight changing them in the... In the, the tiny wee, like... That was pretty rubbish. But we're here, survived, came 10 minutes early. Super dad, as they say. Well done, man. Did you have time to get your ears pierced? Well... <laughs> Oh shit! What the fuck? Listen. <laughs> Whoa! Just because I know you look. I just as you say that, caught a, a glisten of it. See the sparkles. <laughs> uh, just because I'm not afraid to do things to my body. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know you look like uh, like a dad that also does a bit of surfing and art. A dad that rocks. A dad that rocks. <laughs> dad that rocks. <laughs> okay. My dad rocks. <laughs> The coolest bit was getting going to Claire's accessories. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I think that's, that's where all this kind of standard. Sitting like. straight out of the fucking window. Is that when Otis is able to get his, his pierced as well? <laughs> he wasn't in it. <laughs> but I said to the woman, so I was giving it like, in my head, this was a big, this was a big deal getting this done. I've never, never done it in crazy in my you body. You like when you were like younger and stuff? Claire's accessories? Never... Uh-huh, I, like I, I, know, I knew they'd done piercings. You know, I think Claire's? that's quite common. I think like most, most I, people would yeah. go there to get that done. Well, I think most maybe people. I think maybe most people over the age of I, 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 fifteen I, I, would probably or like or a man would go to the tattoo the parlor. Uh huh. I went to Claire's accessories, sat right at the window, but I knew I was embarrassed to get into it. <laughs> and I said to the woman, "I wanted her to know that. Uh, listen, I, this is quite daft for me to be doing this. Right, I'm right, quite okay. mad. I'm not actually. I'm one of the kind of mad guys. <laughs> and." Uh, she just wasn't any it. She's like, I've done oh, this. Oh, really? Like, I was this like, is, this, no, is my, this is my profession. It's my job, mate. Was, she she was job. sort of like, uh, I was like, do you get many, do you many guys in their 30s in doing this? She's like, yeah. Yes, all the time. Yeah. I was like, have you done any? I bet you've not done any this weekend, though. I've just done one a couple of hours ago. So it was like, let it be learning. How much did it cost? 
for a piercing like this. <laughs> Talking like thirty five quid or something like that's proper. Including the hoop. Oh no, actually, I don't know. My wife paid for it. <laughs> Did you get a, a stud just in case you wanted? No, no. Match. So this oh. is the thing. So I was no mix and match. But just, on, uh, I was big mix. on the hoop because the hoop's like you can tell if I look too tight. Like I, 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 I don't know about the stud. The stud sucked, <laughs> and I had to get the stud. They don't, they don't do a hoop. They don't give you that straight away. They don't come fully loaded with the hoop. It's oh, a right, stud. Right, right. So I had this like I had be to- choice between like a knockoff Cristiano Ronaldo type stud. <laughs> Oh, this like black mosher stud. Hmm. So I went with a mosher stud. I know it was. It How was, long did you wait? You just had to wear that out of the shop. Yeah, mate, I meant to still be wearing it. <laughs> right, right. But I just like wasn't worth it. You, you can't come on the first video. No podcast. chance, man. For 150 <laughs> episodes, I need to go with the hoop. With a mosher stud. <laughs> so now, that's me. Okay. <laughs> well, it's a good uh, visual uh, element. Certainly. For, for the I think for the, for the album comeback, people be like, fucking cares. You get a hoop. To cares about a hoop now. <laughs> Have you ever toyed with the idea of having a piercing? No, I think it, that... After your nipples, that was you? <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> no, I, I think I'd be too, like, fear that it would get ripped out or something like that. And all the wrestling and stuff you do? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> the kind of your mixed martial arts <laughs> combat <laughs> sports that I'm into. Yeah. Even your drums. True. I just, I just think it would caught on things. I mean, no, I. That seems like a thing that would happen. It does, not, it does actually look quite cool, but I well, I know, it's, it's sometimes I walk by him, but I'm not just saying this. I'm like, I'll, I'll actually go, <laughs> "Fucking hell, man, you look so cool." <laughs> walking the walking the baby in the pram, and I walk by a shop window, <laughs> and I'm not just saying this. I double took. I was like, "Fuck, <laughs> look at this, this man himself." <laughs> Amazing stuff. People stop me in London. There was the nursery girls. Eh, they, I, I sensed it one, and I wanted to say, like. Oh, oh, someone, oh, <laughs> someone treats herself for the weekend. <laughs> There's Ross no, Geller. No dice. The, the nah, yeah, I could tell she was wanted, so I kind of, so I, I kind of the next day I went and like saved it for her and just put my hat on and pulled it down. So as if, <laughs> as if she'd missed scene. <laughs> have but, um, you seen? Um, have you seen anyone in London care with the the Apple Vision Pro yet? The mad Oculus. It's not the Oculus. Thing, it's the Oculus. I think was the first one. No, I've not. I watched a uh, fellow um, YouTuber like ourselves now, Casey, <laughs> oh, Casey Neistat. I watched his review on it. Um, and I watched that guy, Marquis, who I watched like a 37 minute review on oh, the other really? day. Basically, the part is this could be our tech segment. Tech segment. Tech, tech segment, nice. Um, 150 we're covered, tech we're covered, segment. We're covered fashion. <laughs> Let's go into tech. Um, <laughs> they said that I quite like that I can just move this at any point and fucking. I should get one of them. You should get stands. one in the house that. That can you get us? I have a budget version of this. I, I don't very, really move at all. It's very good. Just, like, like if I really wanted to talk well in, I can as well. <laughs> or maybe get more hoop vision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it's just into some hoop pad. Um, I watched a th- hoop uh, cam. Hoop cam. <laughs> Uh, we're, doing this, we're doing this video tomorrow so see if you can get a GoPro like attached to your <laughs> <My hoop>. jaw somewhere <laughs> see, watch it wiggle with a um, I watched a, a, like a half an hour review on it and basically the part is to sum it up in a quick nutshell for the tech review the cons currently outweigh the pros of it Aye. Yeah. It's Ten, just, five um, years from now everybody will wear the it the only thing that I'm seeing that people do seem to do on it is like you can have fucking all social media open at once. It looks like hell. I know it, it does. looks like the worst thing possible. <laughs> it's like having a big target as well. Like you, you deserve to get. Definitely, jacked. if you're wearing them in, in public. Yeah, but what? So they're reckoning, or like they, they're going to keep, the they're thing. going to keep developing them, and then it'll become normal glasses. Well, then there'll be a chip in like your, the, the, chip te- in your brain the tech's not so. caught up with what that is yet. Like the right, other right, apps right. and stuff. Once that happens, it's it's. So you've not actually asked me on. about these glasses yet. <laughs> 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 and guess where I'm just back from. Oh, I, so, are they from Japan? I try them. What are you fucking? What, what do you mean? I'm not getting on. What do you mean? So I, I've got I've got my phone set up the new. Try oh, on. F- first live jest. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I entertaining? <laughs> so I tried on in Japan a set of glasses that were just like that, mm-hmm. right? And it had it all everything, like. It was like a, I don't know, a shop phone. Mm-hmm. So like, it wasn't my phone, but like you could, I could, I go to YouTube and I had it right there. So I stood in the shop with them on, and it was like uh, you could see whatever I was watching YouTube. It was just 
So my video, but it was like, you can still see everything. Ah, oh, you can still, still see everything. Everyone in the shop, you know what? So I think I just got in and it was, it was, like, it was unbelievable. So I, I reckon when it goes like that, when they become just glasses Aye, like but they had these ones in Japan that looked like it was just like Ray-Bans so yeah. like, there is a Ray, there is a Ray-Bans there were a few grand sure. to buy but you could it was cool it was really fucking it's just like everyone's like the, the next step it has to come out but just think how, how amazing like it'll be constantly in front of your to face. listen to the pod and true and true that, I will that space <laughs> yeah, the pod the listeners very, um, you need to you need to uh, are the labels still in it is that actually have you no, I'm very, very smudged. <laughs> <laughs> you just get the opposite. <laughs> Obscuring your vision. <laughs> well, this will be when this comes out. We'll have just done. We've done the gig. Aye. Our first gig. Um, new album. Mm-hmm. Playing a new se- album. Secret first gig. gig that's happening. That will have happened, but it's happening tomorrow. It's pretty, well, first of all, blown away by the response, guys. <laughs> no, um. Uh, off the back of the we're back social media um, low key viral moment, to then go into <laughs> to then go into the first preview of the new tune, it was very nice to hear a response. The reviews are in, and apparently people liking your your new oh, chops. I, I never really gave much thought to the, the the first sort of bit of the song we're putting out is just Jamie. Mm-hmm. Again, there was a few comments which actually <laughs> I didn't see too many, but which was true that that you had seemed to be having already more airtime than me. <laughs> was a bit strange, but your pipes, man. Even my my father who dropped me off to this, uh, picked me up from the airport. My son today was like Jamie's voice. My dad's Turkish. Uh, Jamie's voice, unbelievable. <laughs> there you go. What the voice? Hey. So, um, all that singing in the shower. You do sound good on it, oh man. I'm eating uh, very comfortably. I know that everybody seems to be liking it so far, but this will be like if you like the band, this is the fucking this is a shoe in. Aye, this is a this is the one. And should we just react as if as if the gig, if, as if the what gig, gig by the way? Oh, fucking hell! <laughs> like, <laughs> I actually can't, brigade were called. Them. I can't believe that it went down that well. The fact that people were just giving us money randomly was weird. <laughs> good, to, good to see the, the respect and the fact that my hoop made like <laughs> the press headlines cares, cares hoop unreal hoop dreams unreal. <laughs> 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 um, yeah I'm looking forward to playing tomorrow and after this we're going to go and actually play the songs for the first time well, learn them learn how to play them uh, it's funny I suppose because if you don't really know the story how this works like we recorded the album the song we're going to put out business as usual single. Oh, oh, sorry, oh, oh. Is it, sorry, is it fucking intermission break? What's happening there? That, that part of the segment boring you? What were you getting there, chips? No, I was just getting chips my, in dip for the for the cast. I'm just getting my eczema cream. Oh, all right, all oh, cool. Let's that, see what that, it's that, like. That time. Let's get a zoom in on the cream. <laughs> what are we talking? New Age Aquarius. Right, okay. Sponsor and so, see if you can get free cream. <laughs> it only cost a pound. Hey, pound hundred saved. tubs. That's a hundred quid saved. <laughs> Right, yeah. we'll, we'll wait till you apply this and then, yeah, and then, then we'll continue talking just about, keep talking about the song. Uh, nah, absolutely, just it's not doubting at all. It's Burnley. It's Burnley? Aye, it's Burnley. It really is Burnley. Is it? Aye. How do you apply? Well, that'll be good for the, the ASMR section of the podcast. <laughs> 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 um, but I know the song, so the song, Business as Usual, single, sing, single that's coming out at the end of the month was written you sent me the first demo of it Jamie in like 2020 and then we recorded it in 2021 I remember when I was kind of writing it well, we'll talk, talk about that yeah, give, well, give, give, your, give people some, love some, to see your some insight, insight. Aye. what was it like when you were writing <laughs> it <laughs> tell us about that uh, I think at that point I was like going through some stuff I was going through my stuff, through my stuff, any stuff. I was just, uh, I think I was just running all the time. And what were you running from, though? <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, That's so know. class. Let me see. Let me just get on. This is what. What were you running from, man? <laughs> don't, don't, don't look at me. I wasn't running from. I was just. <laughs> How do you look at it? <clears throat> look at me, but also speak to the camera. No, this bit, when I wrote the song, it was at the time, it was like, the lockdown had happened the 21 again. Right, um, so it, it, we'd, it'd been a lockdown, then we'd 
doing all right for a wee bit, and then it's gone back into our lockdown, and that's when you took it upon yourself to to write write something. <laughs> Where was your mind at, bro? Uh, well, I think at that point it was like everybody else in other countries seemed to be doing stuff, right? And we weren't. I was just getting up, and going running, and going. What the fuck's going on? Is that how the lyric is? If I could just be honest, I think I'd rather be on it. Aye. This is one of the f- one of the first songs or one of the first ones I can remember where you sent the full chorus of you sitting playing it on an acoustic guitar and then we turned that into a song. It was, is it vastly different to what the tune is? No, no, it's like this, the chorus is the, it's the same chords and the same word. Like the full, you wrote the full thing and then we just goes, cool, let's make that into a song. The I chords f- I remember I got for a... Uh, Welcome to my house. Da, da, the floor da, 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 song? Da, is that Florida? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it sings. It just uh, heard then it was dead good at that. But I can't imagine it's Florida, but I like that. Uh, the we that's such a fucking hilarious. How no, they would put that down. I don't know what that was influenced by. <laughs> oh, it's it's a good I learned how to play it on the piano. I was playing it on the piano, and then and then that, that was it. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh God, he's burning. He's burning <laughs> up. I got I got a shave for the for the cast. I got a shit because my skin was already bad when I got up this morning, but it's like I had to get somehow I had to get the cream run about here. No, it's but quite good though. Like, like you're really raising awareness for other skin stuff. Eczema stuff. stuff, like that. Eczema stuff Nobody is. else is out there doing that, man. <laughs> <laughs> like that's a fucking fly the flag, <laughs> brother. <laughs> fly the flag. Bastard <laughs> for eczema <laughs> sufferers. Uh-huh. Uh huh. That really is bad. Yeah. Uh, but I ended up because I had me last time I got my hair cut in November. Start November, so I was going to a guy's wedding, and um, the only place it was open was the Turkish barbers, and that's when I tried to say I'm just a number one in my beard, and they done it on my head. Oh, I, I <laughs> start in November. I remember. So I was like, uh, it's like nice, nice long hair at the time, <laughs> <laughs> and then but that I uh, had uh, unkempt beard, so I just said because I can't go like a number one because it's too. Uh, I can only go to number one, otherwise my skin gets really fucked up, but I was trying to say it number one, the beard, though, when he's like, sound, and then sat down on the side of my hair, he's like, he put a little bit of and all that, and he could just see, see us looking in the mirror, and all that. When I put rang, he's like, oh, I just meant, just meant my beard, whatever, I just meant my beard, and then, aye, that was a... Uh, and so I had then it was like a number two on the top and a number number one at the sides. Uh, and then just let it grow for then. Wow. Well, I'm glad you made it through. Exactly. You're still here to tell I'm the tale. Here to tell the tale. <laughs> Here's a, uh, for the fans uh, who buy our merch, the, because the new videos mainly focus on a car. Oh, like yeah. the bobbleheads. But I was thinking since the, ho- the addition of the hoop, Oh, I'll, I'll need to get mine redesigned. You need to get yours redone. <laughs> and also, maybe it could dangle. <laughs> it could dangle a wee bit. <laughs> It'd be pretty cool. What are we looking at? Bobbleheads and air fresheners? Nah, I think that would, that would sell pretty right? well. The sort of mock ups look good. Dusties are good. Did you ever steal Dusties? Mm-hmm. How many? Uh, maybe only done it for a couple of weeks till realised what it was. Until uh, the craze of it was over. Uh, I, was too, I was too scared. <laughs> nah. I, was too I don't scared. think I've got like. <laughs> it was like you just assume it's think it was it you know, I would go it, fucking mental if somebody stole my dust just now <laughs> so bang out like as a fucking father like if she's stealing stuff from my car my transport from my child I'd go surely fucking mental surely now they're like fucking super well surely they, they, they can't easily be stolen by children surely on like a Tesla yeah. and all that the, the technology's there for children not to Do steal you your dust just run by wing wires and volley them off uh, well, again that's, that's quite a mad one mental I would do that that's a mental one to, like pals for school that were that's way more way more banger because <laughs> at you can pump the tire and you're like, annoying exactly. about <laughs> um, there was a couple of nights I went up to shots and I was pals with guys for shots and I was in like second or third year or something like that but my pals for wish it'd be just kicking a bit walking a bit maybe with skateboards or something like that but then <laughs> went to shots it was running a bit kicking wing winners and all half cars uh, I don't think I'd done it but I was uh, like was yeah, 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 yeah. running running away hey man fly with the crows boy <laughs> fly with the crows you may as well have done it <laughs> we celebrate 150 cars by going rolling a few <laughs> wing winners off in the car during the day 
<laughs> but aye, sorry. So 150 eps. Um, the new single was out the end of this month, 29th of February, the first leap year release. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, special, special leap year release. Genuinely, <laughs> how does it feel to be back, fellas? Good. I think it will feel more real. E- even after this, when we go and rehearse the songs for the first time, more real. And then obviously the gig. No. Aye, I can't wait. I'm just, I'm just looking forward to fucking getting it back on the road, man. Definitely. And, and it's nice to... It's, what is the nicest thing about the posting, the, the tune up and saying that we're coming back or whatever was the fact that MD gave a fuck? <laughs> uh, it, I, it was mad. See, like, any person I met... Like, in person, it was as if we'd released, like, the best song ever, but all we'd done is just... So you are coming back. Slightly amusing post. I, I went... Oh, I saw the postman fucking so funny. I went to... one or two, it's like, um... <laughs> sorry to hear. Maybe they were sorry to hear that we were still... Still going. together. Aye, aye, sorry, aye. 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 We kind of was... left, left ourselves exposed to that, to that joke. Must, 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 didn't they read it all and just think, that's... How fucking no, lazy do you be like? Oh no, sorry, I thought you meant they did read it all, but they were going, oh, it's a shame as if like the, you're coming back. No, no, so they, so they read so half it like, I've got, the, I've got the gist. Is that what the part was? How fucking lazy are some people, man? <laughs> I, get, I mean, it was obviously thought, didn't they care about the band? They were just like, oh, they must have broke up, whatever. Justin, no, I went to an, uh, our NCT group, which is like all the. Babies that were born at the same time. So that, that was Parking the that, company. That's, N- that's NCP, mate. NCP. If you've got to make a job, make sure it's relevant. You know? <laughs> and, right. Right. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh, before, before Otis was born, like these are the people you yeah. went to classes with and stuff. And uh, they were like, oh, and it's all happening with you, is it? Oh, right. Oh, right. Read your post. Storm shared your post. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so happy you're back. Because I was reading it originally and I was like, oh, that's just, it must be too hard for me. keeps saying he's in this band. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Uh, so they're buzzing we're back as well and Good. and we must come to the gig they said if we play Good. London we'll, we'll get, we it book, get it booked so aye it's good to be it's good to be back in the headlines <laughs> the, another, another dose another, of the cream another, you definitely do need sponsors you've been through about half that yeah. jar already we might need no to, I've only just been <laughs> might need to pay somebody for the <laughs> somebody at the gig tomorrow to be <laughs> lathering you up between songs Um, yeah. anything in particular we'd like to discuss in Stunning 4K Um. It was the Grammy Awards two nights ago. Yeah. Again, our invite got lost in the post, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, he saw that Killer Mike won three awards. And he got huckled. He got huckled, but he's 48-year-old rapper. An inspiration to us all. He's been the Jules guy. Yep. Killer Mike, yep, yep. What, what do you think of that, Kerr? As a as an aging rapper yourself. <laughs> Um, three a clean sweep. He won all three like yeah, big category like Mike was saying, for an album that isn't good. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Um, as Mike said, never let anybody tell you you're too old for this. Um, always follow your dreams. Is always apply your cream. Always apply your cream. Always, <laughs> always follow your dreams. No. A wee bit of cream in your mustache. Aye. No, well, I need a little bit. Like, Got to sink in. Um, on the train here, a wee guy was smoking a fag on the train. Nice. It was cool. <laughs> good, to see I come, really liked it. good to see us coming back. <laughs> he was he was just like walking walking, so he was walking while smoking it. So to avoid, avoid kill detection. But um, <laughs> it, it, def- it definitely was a fag and it was like You could smell it off. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I was I was impressed. Was MD was MD disgusted? It was, it was that way you kinda like you didn't really realise until he'd gone. <laughs> <laughs> and a puff of smoke. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, I think there's a picture of me and you here. We walked through Tesco in Oxford. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Back all the way through it. People should could definitely start doing that. That's, that's a fun, any, fun thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> any smokers out there? Give it a try in your local, your local people market. People like, like really to <laughs> to like chuck you off. It's such a pain in the arse. No. Like what? You need to go and get the the ticket guy and say he was smoking. Up. It's a full thing, but that time he smoked the fag. <laughs> no, no, I was thinking. That was, uh, like <clears throat> twelve or thirteen years ago or something. Like mm-hmm. that. You started it. You started the craze. No, no, but I, mean, I, mean, I, don't so, even, I don't even smoke. I just like, just like, I just walked, like that happen. We walked. Uh, <laughs> at that point, we were like <clears> fucking. <throat> Skin, 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 skin. It was, like a first, it was a first. Ever, it was a first ever tour. But so uh, smoked the fag. We smoked spent the four days in the uh, in Oxford so Tesco car park in that bus. We smoked the fag walking through the, the Tesco, but then nobody said anything. But then the 
the the security guy got us in the way out going he didn't put the apple juice as part of the meal deal oh god Except yeah, like save as a pound just kind of go. I've I've never been twigged to doing that. Like geese piece man, just fucking <laughs> let him take his apple juice. Aye, <laughs> jobs worth. <laughs> um, so if we could set a wee goal for ourselves for 150 episodes for us from this point, we'll, what are we aiming for? We'll be on the we'll be on the Vision Pro by then. That's true. We'll probably all be on that. The Grammys. If we podcast can get, if goal. We can get to the What's Grammys? the podcast awards? I think there's quite a lot of podcast awards. The podies. I think you need to need to enter yourself into them though. Oh man, like that they want you. <laughs> Straight away, that's how they deter them. Like the, <laughs> that's how like, they get shot at uh, the people that actually like fucking deserve two, it. Two hundred quid to. Take. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it is that, but like a lot uh-huh. of these, a lot of these things, there's like an entrance fee and all that. I'm not, I'm not paying two hundred quid for a prize that I'm not going to win. <laughs> 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 it's just, it doesn't make sense. Was it we were the one point we were the thirteenth? The th- at one 13th point biggest, we were the thirteenth biggest podcast. When, when in the we UK. came out, I when, when we came out, we 13th were biggest. Was it music or just podcast? It or? was it just it, straight it, podcast. Very man, few 13th. things in the lifetime of the band have ever lined up well, but the podcast was definitely one of them. Well, podcast, we were we were big in the podcast. We didn't we didn't even. It just was a coincidence that was. The, the lockdown happened and we'd recorded it we never planned it to be one of the best screenshots I ever posted <laughs> <laughs> for those fans out there remember that who, well, who for episode 300 visually we could get somebody sitting here who is it I don't know I don't know if people are that buzzing on the guests I think people like Jerry yeah I mean he's just Jared Butler <laughs> Um, but Tate. I mean like K Tate Tate oh Andy Tate right. no no he means Taylor Swift Oh, Swifty. Aye. You call her Swifty? Just, uh-huh. Down in London, you call her Swifty. <laughs> <laughs> I call them Swifties, but we call her Tay up here, don't we? Tay we do up here, aye. Ryan Gosling. Gauzy? Gauzy would be good. Ryan Gosling for episode 300. Right, though. Get him here. Aye, that would be, that's a good 300 mark. Look at Ryan Gosling on the cast. In, uh, he's in a fellow musician four years time or whatever three years time mm-hmm. and in March it'll be four years of the of podcast casting. Aye. 150th episode but we've not, but obviously not done one every week for that but we're pretty pretty good we'll be good we'll it's be good. one like every one and a half weeks or something that works Qu- quick maths there he's there <laughs> there he's there the counter himself <laughs> <laughs> the flesh sheen counter nothing gets by <laughs> <laughs> on fire with mass and skin fantastic any other good some you should next one we should get a prop the board like countdown just give you fucking equations <laughs> rain man rain man um, I would just like to quickly oh, fuck man a moment of authenticity here it comes <laughs> Sorry. get ready to clip up uh, if you've listened to this podcast for 150 episodes um, I apologise you've no managed to see my hoop and <laughs> uh, sorry that suddenly now you're getting to see it like that no um, thank you that's insane to me that you just listen to this because as we well have truly established this point we have no, there's nothing to educationally gain from it no um, we don't really tell you much about but everything to educationally lose from it ah uh-huh. aye ah uh-huh. and people have said it's like just sent me a few of your friends there we go um, I folk often have said it feels like they're in the room with us and that's one well. of the best compliments you can get right <laughs> it's just and like we're in the room what with you talking about <laughs> um, so thank you if you listen to it I just I know, well appreciated def- definitely a, a big milestone <clears throat> there's actually some people as well that don't even like the band that just like this and for those people I say <laughs> <laughs> clean your ears uh, <laughs> uh, please still buy the album and support the cause mm. aye um, that's a decent thing to do because he's got this for fucking three definitely uh, this is even behind the paywall which is something you should consider if you aren't paying for this podcast genuinely have a look at yourself we've got mouths to feed kids growing <laughs> up and I don't want to just be 
<laughs> your dad's got a podcast. <laughs> and the reading. And the reading. Whoa, your dad's so cool. <laughs> Where did you say that your again? Dad rock, your dad rocks. Your dad's <laughs> absolutely rocks. <laughs> what, what, was, what was that when we were talking about that when you're saying your dad's got a podcast? We were talking about it before and then you were like, everybody's dad has a podcast. Like, I suppose my dad. That's <laughs> not, not an insult. <laughs> That is good. That is a podcast producer. Your dad's not got a podcast. <laughs> aye, aye, true. Um, <laughs> aye, not cheers. If you listen to this for so long, that's amazing. And if you're with the band and ready for the fourth album and buzzing on it, thank you. That's class. Uh, we're very excited to be back, genuinely. Mm-hmm. Um, as you can see, we're taking it a lot more serious now. We've stepped up our production. and uh, I think we've done quite well for... for uh, how this is when <laughs> at the end of the podcast just to summarise it yeah it's always good to, to, to take <laughs> stock of what you've done <laughs> take stock like, what about a uh, moment's pause a moment's pause I was to just reflect I was just shut up for a dead air yeah man dead air think about what we've said nice that's, that's, that's probably enough I couldn't let it go any longer no <laughs> man, that was actually killing me I can't have dead air <laughs> <laughs> fucking well it's, it's the professional <laughs> in me I just can't have dead air I just can't it'll eat me alive <laughs> that was really nice so a few people come in the door there and just said by the way listen to it on the live stream really good and thank you uh, yeah, still in the, hey I, told, the I can't believe there's so many beautiful people here as well like models <laughs> and, and models like in the cast incredible famous uh, athletes and famous <laughs> athletes models and athletes I mean what a place we're in I tell you um uh, <laughs> and comedians as well. Royalty. Um, aye. <laughs> How do you support the cast? That's, tell us about it. Uh, well, for, well, people should, as well as supporting the cast, sign up to the mailing list. The the gig that will have happened was only available through the mailing list. We're planning on doing, doing, more a, of that. doing a lot more of that. The mailing list is probably the best thing. Probably even better than following us on social media because we can actually reach people. Yeah, and we can spam you a lot. We can spam you a lot. Um, and that's the lafontaines.co.uk. And if you'd like to support the podcast, which a lot of you, you do should. out there, is uh, uh, patreon.com forward slash the LaFontaines. And again, as we always say in the podcast, if you're going to the Patreon and you're donating anything under a fiver, don't waste your fucking time. Don't bother. <laughs> do not waste <laughs> your time. You'll not have the money. Yeah, exactly. It's don't waste my time or yours. <laughs> if it's not a tenner, at least patch it. Um, there's three of us I like how we still leave the option though. yeah <laughs> so you could easily make it a minimum yeah exactly <laughs> but we want to know what type of person you are <laughs> somebody <laughs> donates under a fiver 2024 <laughs> makes me fucking sick um, but uh, leave, leave on a high note yeah so, always so now we're going to go and for the first time ever play all of our new songs mm-hmm. together in a room mm-hmm and you can already feel the energy, am I right? Definitely. The energy's pretty good. I'm, I'm buzzed up. Your skin will be fucked by the end of that. I know. The fire. I'm fine, that's... A, that's Are you well, like well, a, well yeah. they lose your skin for that, of mm-hmm. course. Cool. For rock and roll. I suppose we should just sign off. I think we from, should. From uh, two, two normal guys and one cool as fuck bad. 150th episode special. Coming right at you. Thanks very much. Peace and love, y'all. Cheerio. Goodbye. <laughs>